mathematics, walang perfect. Kahit kami mga teachers, minsan nagkakamali din. So, welcome ulit sa ating classroom. So, ngayon naman pag-uusapan natin yung division of polynomial. Ang maganda dito sa division of polynomial, mayroon tayong dalawang method na matututunan. Pwede yung gamitin, alin man sa method na yun, para makuha natin yung quotient. Balik ka tayo ulit sa ating classroom! tayo dito sa ating division of polynomial. So, sabi ko nga kanina, meron tayong dalawang method na gagamitin sa pag-divide ng polynomial. Ano yung mga yun? Yung una is long division. Yung pangalawa naman ay synthetic division. Yan. Pare sa ating gagamitin yan dito sa ating example. So, Basta tandaan ninyo, bago natin gamitin yung long division sa synthetic division, kailangan nakasulat muna tayo sa decreasing order. Anong ibig ko sabihin ng decreasing order? Titignan natin yung degree. Kailangan, laging nandoon sa unahan yung highest degree. Ano ba yung degree? Titignan natin dyan yung exponent. Ulitin ko ha. Dapat yung nasa una natin na term is yung highest degree o yung highest exponent. Pansinin natin to example natin na to. So, kung mapapansin natin, dito sa ating dividend, ang highest exponent natin is 2. Siyempre, ang susunod dyan ay 1, at susunod ay x raised to 0. Tandaan nyo, yung x raised to 0 is equal to 1, ha? So, therefore, constant term lagi ang naiiwan doon. At, napansin natin, ang dividend natin is in decreasing order. Tignan naman natin sa ating divisor. Same thing, decreasing order na. So, therefore, pwede na tayo mag-proceed doon sa ating long division. Yun unahin natin. So, we have x squared minus 3x plus 2 divide by x minus 1. So, the second process, after checking if it is written in decreasing order, we will divide the first term to the first term of our divisor. x squared divide by x is x. Then, the third step is we will multiply this quotient Ito naman sa ating divisor. So, x times x is x squared. Then, x times negative 1 is negative x. Punta tayo doon sa fourth process, which is subtraction. Okay. Kung naalala nyo doon sa ating subtraction of polynomial, ang ginagawa muna natin, dinidistribute natin itong negative sign doon sa ating polynomial. Ganun yung gawin natin para mas madali tayong makapag-subtract. Negative times positive, this will become negative. And negative times negative, this will become positive. So, therefore, after that, add x squared minus x squared is 0. Negative 3x plus x is negative 2x. Then, bring down 2. Pagkatapos yan, balik ulit tayo dun sa step 2. Negative 2x divided by x is negative 2. So, 2 times x is negative 2x and negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Then, again, subtract. Distribute muna ulit natin negative sign. Negative times negative, this will become positive. Negative times positive, this will become negative. So, therefore, we have negative 2x plus 2x is 0. And 2 minus 2, that is also equal to 0. So, therefore, there is no remainder in this example. So, meaning, this is the quotient of this polynomial and this binomial. Madali lang, di ba? So, ngayon naman, gawin naman natin yung ating synthetic division. So, hindi nga, sabi ko nga, uh, huwag yung kalimutan na, i-check nyo dapat lagi yung ating polynomial kung decreasing order. Parehas yan, doon sa synthetic, saka doon sa long division. Dahil na-check na natin ito kanina, decreasing order, pwede na natin pumunta doon o gamitin yung synthetic division. Ang unang-una lang natin gagawin dito is kukunin natin lahat ng coefficient ng ating dividend. Kunin natin. The coefficient of x squared is 1. The coefficient of negative 3x is negative 3. And the coefficient, oh, so of course, wala tayong coefficient. That is a constant. So, sulat lang natin yung constant. After that, kukunin natin yung zeros ng ating divisor. Anong ibig ko sabihin ng zeros of divisor? Ibig sabihin lang yan, I-equate natin yung ating divisor, which is x minus 1, to 0. 
we need to find the value of x. And the value of x is using additive inverse is positive 1. And this positive 1, we will use this in our synthetic division as our multiplier. Positive 1. So we can now proceed in the process. Don't forget yung mga process na ginawa natin, ha? Bring down the first term, which is 1, then 1. Times 1 is 1. Then add negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Multiply again, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. That is 0. So after this, ibabalik lang natin ulit siya doon sa ating polynomial. So paano yun? Kailangan tatandaan nyo, titignan nyo lagi doon sa ating dividend yung highest exponent. This time, that is 2. Babawasan lang natin ng isa kasi nag-divide tayo, eh, di ba? So therefore, kung ito yung x squared, bawasan natin ng isang exponent, magkakaroon tayo ng x minus 2. Na wala ng x to kasi this will be a constant kasi uh, 1 na lang yung exponent na ito. So therefore, this is the quotient. Kung papansin ninyo, parehas lang yung sagot. That is for the synthetic and the long division. Para mas okay o mas matandaan natin, bigay pa tayo ng isang example. Okay, parayin ko muna ha. Okay, so this time, ang gagamitin natin is x to the fourth minus 1 as our dividend and our divisor is x minus 1. So, patay doon muna sa first method natin which is the long division. Tandaan ninyo, dapat nakasulat in decreasing order. Pero, may tanong ako, papaano kapag nag-iisa lang yung exponent, wala yung cube? Third, pwede pa ba natin gamitin decreasing order? Pwede pa rin. May gagamitin lang tayo ng konting uh, bagong process. Papaano yan? Ganun pa rin ha? Decreasing order. So, meron tayong x to the fourth, minus or plus, meron yung plus, x cube. Pero sir, pag ginawa natin yan, mababago yung ating polynomial. Ang gawin natin, multiply natin siya sa 0. Kasi pag minultiply natin yun, any number to 0, 0 pa rin yung lalabas. lalabas. Parang, wala pa rin tayong dinagdag. So same thing sa x squared, ganun din gawin natin. Ganun din gawin natin sa 0 times x. Doon sa ating x at doon naman sa constant given, which is negative 1. Don't forget the process ha. Kasi para hindi tayo malito, basta mayroong kulang na exponent, multiply nyo lang sa 0. Saka tayo ngayon mag-proceed doon sa ating process o division. So we will divide everything by x minus 1. So same thing, step 2, divide x to the fourth to x. So we have x cubed, x cubed times x is x to the fourth. x cubed times negative 1 is negative x cubed. Then subtract. So, again, distribute muna natin negative sign. Negative times positive is negative. Negative times negative is positive. So, we have now, this is 0. So, we have here 0x cubed plus x cubed. Of course, that is only x cubed. Bring down 0x squared. Okay, then x cubed divided by x is x squared. Then multiply x squared times x is x cubed. And x squared times negative 1 is negative x squared. Then subtract again, negative times positive, this is negative, negative times negative, this is positive. Then 0x squared plus x squared is x squared. Then bring down 0x naman. Okay, x squared divided by x is x. So x times x is x squared. Then x times negative 1 is negative x. Minus negative times positive, this will become negative. Negative times negative, this will become so, of course, this is equal to 0. 0x zero plus x, that is x minus 1. Continue natin kasi mayroon pa tayong x. Tandaan nyo, mag stop lang tayo kapag wala na tayong variable. Maliwanag yun, ha? So, we have x divided by x is positive 1. 1 times x is x. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Then, subtract. Negative times positive, this will become negative. Negative times negative, this will become positive. And of course, x minus x zero, negative one plus one is also zero. So this is also equal to zero. And this is the quotient. Daan niyo ah. Ayan yung ating quotient. 
for these two polynomial. Gamitin naman natin yung synthetic division para mas maliwanag. So, same thing, nakasulat na kasi, okay, luwa na natin, yung decreasing order, kukunin lang natin yung coefficient. The coefficient of x to the fourth is 1. The coefficient of 0 x cubed is 0. 0 x squared is 0. 0 x is also 0. And the constant term is negative 1. Our multiplier is, kapag negative 1 yun, zeros nun is positive 1. Okay, so let's continue. So, we have, bring down 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is positive 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Balik natin sa polynomial. Again, x to the fourth yan. Pag dinivide natin, mababawasan ng isa. Magkakaroon ngayon tayo ng x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1. Ito yan, no? Parehas, no? C synthetic and long division. Ano mas madali sa inyo? Siyempre, kung saan kayo mas mas nadadalian, pwede nyo gamitin. Anyway, parehas lang naman yung lalabas. Eh. And that is the division of polynomial. At ito pa rin ang inyong musikerong maestro na patuloy na nagsasabi sa inyo na mag-aaral kayo mabuti at sigat para mat di ka bigyan ng problema na walang solusyon. Maraming salamat ulit. Bye-bye!